I fought with every single fibre of my being. I had there was nothing to lose and life to gain. He took care of me too in a, in an environment where I didn't know I needed to be taken care of. Who do you think deserves to win Game of Thrones? My I want my woman to sit on the throne, and you know Drogon be right behind her because basically that's me. They're like, we really don't think she's going to make it. We've had so many scares. Amelia Clark's career was taking off with Game of Thrones. The actress now says she was hiding a secret. It was just like, no, no, this isn't even a question. I'm. That's not happening. That's uh. not an option. Very sad because we almost lost her numerous times. Amelia, I love you. So sorry I wasn't there for you. I just didn't want to be a bother. I walk in and I'm like, exhausted and I have my bags and I'm really tired and from the other side of this enormous lobby I hear wifey and this huge Hawaiian man comes bounding over to me picks me up and genuinely gets me in like a rugby tackle I don't take for granted where I came from. My mom works like three three jobs mm -hmm. when I was in high school it was tough and because it just couldn't make ends meet So I put on this little fluffy pink polka dotted sock and then I uh, I walked out and she started laughing so hard. The camera got to see a bum and I got to see a really pink fluffy sock. He was so kind mm. and considerate and like cared about me as a human being. He took care of me too in, a, in an environment where I didn't know I needed to be taken care of. I just love that she just brings all that fire. She has it inside of her. She you know, evokes that spirit. suddenly get this unbelievable pain that felt very much like an elastic band around my brain. Then I started to feel incredibly ill, kind of crawled to the, to the bathroom, and for whatever reason, I knew I was being brain damaged. I was trying to move my fingers and my toes, uh. and trying to think about my feet, and think about my legs, and make sure they were still working. It was a purely instinctive thing. I, I felt incredibly scared, but I fought, basically. I fought with every single fibre of my being. I had, there was nothing to lose and everything, and life to gain. It completely alienating and entirely frightening and leaves you feeling profoundly alone because no one can see it, no one can understand it. You just, you just want people to think that you can do the job that they gave you because my God, there's 20,000 other women who can do it right, as right. well. So showing any weakness is frightening. That was actually a horrible experience because me and Amelia are very close. It's, it was hard because you're hurting your friend. I just didn't want to be a bother. They had to wake me up to say, listen, we have to put you into open brain surgery. We have to cut your head open and, and, and save your life. I wasn't prepared to make it. It was in that moment I asked them to just let me die. That she just brings all that fire and she has it inside of her. And I had invested so much of my hopes and dreams and wishes for myself, for my family. I'd put so much into that that not living to see it just wasn't an option. We've had so many scares and very sad because we almost lost her numerous times. I knew that I had to tell this story because I wanted people who were suffering from it to know that this is also what brain injury looks like and that you can do it. She's so brave and helping the world and trying to raise awareness. I love her to bits and she's here and she's going to do great things with it and, and, and teach the world. What we're doing with Same You is that we are trying to shine the light on recovery. Without Game of Thrones, without a loving, supporting family, I wouldn't have been able to navigate my way through. No. And I wasn't a single mum with three kids and two jobs, so I wasn't tested in that way. You need support. We 
time I come to England, mm -hmm. oh, I go crazy when I see her. Elise, I love you! He's one of those incredibly rare people who their personalities and their spirit is as big as he is. Wait, I was hanging out with a friend of yours who yes. had, had a little message for you that we wanted to play for you. Oh. Love it. Happy birthday, Amelia. I love you. It's the fight part of me that I think is probably the strongest. To prove yourself wrong, to prove other people wrong, that, that you are strong enough to do it, you're capable of overcoming this. I've always wanted to meet her. She was a queen, always. I actually had dreaded my hair almost for her. I was eight years old going, Mommy, that's my wife, she just doesn't know you. <laughs> Until Lisa, Jason had never seen someone who looked like him on TV. Lisa Bonet was on the Cosby show. And you guys were going together and then you got her pregnant. She is like the female version of me. They were incredibly and deeply in love. Even though his dream girl was with another man, Jason knew what he really wanted. Ever since I was a little boy, I always wanted to be a father. Raised by my mother, I didn't have a man around. Born in Honolulu, raised in Iowa. Yeah. That's an interesting it's, juxtaposition. It is. It just kind of identifies being that outcast and not really fitting into two different worlds. Um, in Iowa, there wasn't any races, so I grew up just the one Hawaiian in Iowa. Yeah. And then uh, I'd go to Hawaii and I'd be the, the Howley, the white Hawaiian. Jason didn't belong in Iowa, so he tried to fit in in Hawaii. I flew over and I just stayed at my dad's, and lived on the floor there, and I saw this this video of my family and I couldn't believe it was at Blockbuster and I saw it and I was like, what am I doing? And then a TV show came and then I fell in love with acting. For an anxious young man, it finally allowed me to be anything that I wanted to be. And I came back and tried to make people believe that I could right. act. It was very hard to get a job. It's just people looked at me a different way. People wouldn't take you seriously, you couldn't get agent no? It was a challenging time trying to put my food on the table. Jason wasn't the only one who couldn't find a place where he belonged. What have you been doing? You've been missing. Not working, spending time with my kid. Just have gone through lots of changes. Lenny started collaborating with Madonna and the media sparked rumors that Lenny was having an affair with the singer and multiple other women. The gossip became too much to handle. Lisa said her heart was blown open from just loving someone so much. She filed for divorce. Do you and the baby hang out with Mr. Kravitz and spend time together, the three of you, every now and then? Lisa was still collecting the pieces of her broken heart when Jason stormed into her life. We met at this jazz club, and uh, we just happened to be at the right place, right time. I see her. I turn around to my friend, and I'm just like, <laughs> I convinced her to take me home because I was yeah. living in a hotel. It was uh, Cafe 101, and we yeah. sat down and she ordered a Guinness. My muse, the love of my life, a partner in crime. I felt stupid, crazy, madly in love with her. Jason wanted to be there for his kids, unlike Lenny. In July 2007, Lisa's water broke long before her expected due date. Jason was filming in Canada at the time. He freaked out and made a mad dash to the airport. He made it back to their home just in the nick of time before Lisa gave birth to their baby girl. My wife gave me three beautiful, feral kids. Jason was determined to find his place in acting, but left his family behind. It now takes me away from the things that I love most. My wanna, my family, that scares me. Yeah, in this industry, in this business, families are kind of forced to be apart a lot. Caught up trying to fit in as an actor, Jason forgot about his first dream until one violent night stopped him in his tracks. Jason Momoa was rushed to the emergency room after being slashed in the face during a fight. It was really bad. It, I, it stopped counting after about 140 stitches. And so that really set me back, and I took a year off, and like, you know, I had both the kids then. Stuck at home, surrounded by the family he built, Jason realized he'd lost sight of where he truly belonged. There are people who come into our lives like guiding spirits, providing the missing lessons we need. It's the people around you that make you the king, so it's all these people believing in you know, your family and friends. Definitive moments. So powerful, they change the path of who we become. With his family behind him, Jason fearlessly embraced where he came from at his next audition. And you were actually considering performing the haka on Lowry War Dance for your Game of Thrones audition? I was unsure if I was going to do it. And I'm like, oh, you mind if I try something first before we do the audition? And I'm like, oh, please, you'd be delighted. Your soul opens up and all your ancestors come in. Then I just start getting into it, which is rather scary. Jason risked it all, and it paid off. It's 
definitely the greatest thing I've ever done as an actor. I'll never play a role, so I'll ever have that big of an impact, I don't think. Sounds like Aquaman might be pretty cool. And that helped him get the role that meant the most to him. I had an audition for Batman. I just played it polar opposite of what it should have been. And then they, they liked the audition. And he's like, all right, Aquaman. And I'm like, ah, I'm not seeing it. And he's like, wait, 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 wait. And he starts explaining, you know, some Polynesian history. And he just started going off about how he was an outsider. Growing up, Jason never fit in. But now, he built a world where his kids could belong. So Aquaman is uh, one of the first, if not the first, biracial superheroes to star in his own movie. This is one of the greatest moments of my life. I'm so honored to play this role because it represents all of us, all of Polynesia. I think it's like the biggest honor you could have. It's when you, you, your, your kids do something you love, you do it together, travel the world doing it. Um, and then for us to all get to just be together, it's, it's awesome. And now, the best part is I get to share that dream with my children and the people that I love. And with them, my dreams finally came true. I'm a husband and a father, and it is the greatest honor of my life. I'm not alone anymore. I found my place, my home. His father was a notorious drug addict that walked out on the family when Reeves was just three years old. His father had torn Keanu's family apart, but there was one thing that kept him going. I loved movies. I looked at movies as a kid like a kid would look at a fireman or a policeman. I want to do that. 